All right, everyone. So now we will create uh, this chair model, um, as I mentioned in my last video. And uh, we'll use a different modeling method. Okay, so here's the references. And uh, you can download the demo file uh, and uh, the reference images on the link below. And once you download the files, you will have uh, the uh, reference image I used for modeling and also the models, uh, the finished stage of the models. And also you can go to the notes folder where I made uh, screenshots of uh, the key steps, okay? Um, and about the settings, uh, and I also had a text here. All right. So let's switch back to Maya. So I'll start with a polygon primitive with a cube again. Uh, in last video, when I uh, created this table, what I've done is um, I create this cube and uh, I go to the input setting. And by changing the numbers here, um, I can change the shape, you know, dimension of uh, the cube. So today we, um, I want to do a more kind of uh, interactive way so I would like to start with this board, uh, the seating board, uh, since it's more um, obvious. And uh, you can see the width and the depth that you call. OK, so here we go. So I got this cube. And uh, uh, today I want to just use uh, WK as move tool, EK as rotation, R as a skill. So I will use a skill tool to scale the um, depth and the width. Okay, so as you can see, I can control this individual panel, this uh, attribute, and uh, change the dimension. And here is it, the, the number is recorded here instead of uh, here, instead of in the input setting, since I am changing the scale. Okay, and you can manually put a number here. So 15, 15, like this. Okay. And this is the initial object. Okay, so by selecting it with the skill tool, you can control each individual attribute or you can um, grab this plan. So if you scale up this object based on the plan, uh, you will scale up both attribute, you know, the Z and the X on this plan. Right, so it's much easier to save us time. Uh, so this is the plan here. All right, so we just made it super fast. And then I will start with a, uh, a different cube. Here is it. And I can just make it wider and pull it up and more. All right, here I go and I put it on the side. All right, so for this one, as you can see, the Z value is uh, 6.95. I can just put seven as an integer and X, I put a seven integer. And then I just make a duplication and to move it another side of Z axis, I can just, you know, after I duplicate it, I can just uh, put a minus uh, sign in front of the Z value, so it'll be funny to another side. Um, to duplicate the object, I just select the object and hit Command D. That's on Mac, so Command D as duplicate. Uh, if you are on Windows, and then you also select the object and uh, hit Control D as duplicate. And for here. Okay, uh, for the front, front leg, so I'll just make a duplication over here. And then I will just go to vertices, selection mode, right click and vertex. And select the vertex on the top, and then bring them down, right? Or you can go to this edge and select the, oops, uh, you should make sure you're just select the edges on the top. Okay, four edges, and then you can bring, bring it down. Or you can go to the face, selection mode, select the face, and bring it down. So either way it works. 
as you can see, I bring it down here. Um, make sure it's inside of the plan. And when I select it, I can reference the uh, value. So here I want to put a 7. The reason is because that neck, this one, I put it minus 7. So since this board is a, a, a um, kind of square shape, so it's a symmetry. Um, so if I put the, uh, if I duplicate this first neck and place it here, definitely, you know, it should be symmetry. Okay, so I got this neck. And I want to flip another sign, so I just make a duplication by hit command D, and then here's the Z axis. So I just flip the Z value, and then I get another net. Right, super fast. And we'll need uh, this board, this board here, 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 here. So we can just create one board and uh, make a duplication. All right. So I can uh, wait. Here's another board. So we can just create a cube. Here we go. And then we can just scratch it and bring it up, something like this. So uh, for this one, the value is minus seven. This is a positive seven. So what I can do is for this one, I can put a 3.5 and I make a duplication and uh, put a minus 3.5. So it's gonna be symmetric, right? And then I duplicate it, and for third one, I put zero for Z axis. So now this whole thing is a symmetry. All right. And then I can just duplicate one of them and bring it from and rotate it. Okay, I just use the rotation tool. The short key is E, E K for rotation. And I, I rotate it, but I want to make sure it's horizontal okay uh, so when you manually rotate it and um, you know the number is not that clean so I would just reset it here so I would put either minus 90 or 90 90 degree so it will be horizontal okay so bring it down here and make it longer and bring it forward here we go so we can just use this one and uh, make another duplication and bring it backward and use the rotation tool again. I just use a shortcut, short, uh, short key is uh, EK. So rotate in this direction, 90 degree, and you can go to here, rotate, rotation Y and put a 90. Make sure, um, you know, it's nay on X axis. Okay, and bring it back. And as you can see, uh, it's not, Perfect position, and and I can pull it down a little bit, and then here let's clean the value. So I just move it on Z axis. So here's a Z seven point two. So if I just put seven, it's better, right? And then I just make a duplication, and then flip this value minus seven. So you don't get another sign. Same thing for this one. So I just make a duplication since this direction is X axis. If I want to bring it back. I have to move it on the x axis. So I'll just, for the duplication, I'll just put a minus. Okay, so now the only part we left is this board. So I can just use the same piece. So just make a duplication and push it down, drag it um, in this direction and pull it down. And I would like to make it thicker something like that, so it holds these sticks. And bring it down a little bit. Here we go. So we just created uh, uh, this chair in a second. So hope you like it.